Hello everyone, Dr. Evans here talking about proper glove hygiene. The first thing to say about gloves is that they are one of the most important pieces of PPE, arguably the most important, because you'll be using your hands to manipulate containers throughout laboratory experiments and your hands really get closer to the chemicals than anything else. So PPE related to the hands is critical. And the first piece of advice I would give you is just to choose a size of glove that fits you well. For me, that's extra large, but we've got sizes running from extra large to extra small. And if your lab is low on gloves, don't hesitate to come to the stock room. A theme I'll return to later is that we have more than enough gloves. This is Georgia Tech, after all, we have plenty of funding to buy you gloves. So don't hesitate to change your gloves, get more when they run out. We have these for you and they're a critical piece of PPE. So I'm going to go ahead and throw these bad boys on. And one thing you should notice um, as far as putting gloves on is that with the lab coat and the gloves, ideally your entire hand and wrist should be covered. So there's no or very little exposed skin right here. In the near future, we're going to have um, longer gloves that go a bit further down the arm to ensure that there's no exposed skin right here. And that's key to avoid exposures on the hand and wrist which are very common. One thing I wanted to mention as well is how to take gloves off. As you're working during experiments, your gloves are gonna get dirty and you should change them often. Change them often. Don't be afraid to throw a used pair of gloves away. To do that though, you've gotta know how to take these off and it's actually a bit more complicated than it sounds because once you've got one glove off, you've got an exposed hand. How do you avoid using that exposed hand to take off the other glove. Well, there's actually a trick to this that I'm going to show you that allows you to remove gloves without ever actually touching an exposed region of the glove. The first thing you're going to do is pull on the bottom of one of the gloves and reach up underneath. Keep in mind this underside of the glove is not exposed, so you can reach up underneath here without issue. You can pull this up, turn it inside out, so that the exposed portion of the glove is now on the inside and we're going to ball this up in the gloved hand. So that first glove's completely taken care of, no exposure. For the second glove now, the key is to reach up and underneath the second glove like this. And if you want a bit of extra protection, you can actually get your lab coat involved in this maneuver as well. So now my finger's on the inside, again, not an exposed region, and I'm going to pull up and turn this inside out. So now in essence what I've done is I've created a little garbage bag, if you will, with one glove inside the other and all of the exposed areas are inside this garbage bag. Now I can take these, throw them away, grab another pair of gloves and get on with the experiment. Now in terms of changing gloves often and taking gloves off and on, a common point or reason where you'll need to do this is when you're recording data. So data recording or doing calculations for that matter are going to involve using things that you're going to take out of the lab. Pencils, pens, your lab notebook, and anything that goes out of the lab really you don't want exposed to the reagents we'll be using in experiments. And so if you're going to handle a pencil for example, if you're right-handed like me, just take off your right-handed glove and use that ungloved hand to record data. You can even do manipulations with your gloved hand at the same time if you need to. This ensures that your pencil doesn't walk out of the lab with chemicals. Same for calculators. If you're using a calculator or a cell phone for some reason, that's fine. Just make sure you're using it with an ungloved hand to ensure that this is not contaminated with chemicals after the lab is over. So remember this one gloved hand, one ungloved hand trick whenever you need to use something that's going out of the lab. The last thing I would say is to remember to consider the outside of the glove as an exposed surface. You don't want to do anything with these gloves on your hands that you wouldn't do with a bottle of reagent that you're using in that experiment. So for example, you don't want to scratch your face, scratch your eyes when you have gloves on because then all you're doing is transferring chemical from reagent bottle or what have you onto your face and that's exactly what we're trying to avoid. So when your hands are gloved, remember to keep them off exposed parts of your body.